Ladies and gentlemen, Dizzle is back with another tutorial for you. We're going to be working on the uh, pool that's right here in our uh, modern beach house build that we've been doing. Uh, really, some things really quick. Uh, this is in Sandbox. For most of you do uh, know I do mostly play in Survival, uh, but I've been messing around in Sandbox with this build. Uh, as far as I know, these, these pieces here, I don't have Majestic Manor completely unlocked. So I can't say for sure that you'll have those pieces in survival. So somebody out there might need to confirm that in the comments. But th this one here and this one here are the two pieces that we're going to use to use our, our uh, wraparound, uh, like the deck that we got going around here. Uh, and as far as the other white pieces, guys, this is a combination of uh, Beachside Boulevard and um, Durberger. So that just so I just wanted to clarify that up front. So that way, if you come into this build and... Uh, Look, wanting to know if you have those pieces or not, you can check that in advance. Again, just need somebody to confirm, only because I don't have Majestic Manor unlocked for the tables. Uh, other than that, the other two, uh, the other pieces that I'm using are from, uh, again, from Beachside Boulevard and uh, Derberger. All right, I'm gonna. I have this area set up over here uh, because with the the foamy water, it can be a little bit difficult for you guys to see what I'm doing with the pool. The reason why I chose here is because I wanted it. I wanted the palm trees as far as part of this build. That's why I did it. But uh, I'll do it over there in grassland so we got some clear water. This way it'll help you guys understand exactly what you need to do. And then you can put the uh, the pool build wherever you f see fit. All right. Uh, let's get set up over there. All right, guys. I'm doing this over here in uh, a clear lake. That way, because the foam will get in the way sometimes. But you can build this wherever you want. And you're going to start off by going into floors. And you could use whatever piece you want because this is going to get covered up anyways. Uh, and I'll tell you the size here in a second. Uh, but you're looking for eight by four by one piece. And you might have to do this a few times because I did. Basically, you're going to put one down and then you're now you're, you're going to go into furniture, go into surfaces. Remember, we're using these uh, these tables as part of our, our deck. And you're going to want to put it right on top and then you're going to check the water level. It's just underneath. The difference with, with the water is more calm here, whereas by by uh, dry valley or the beach over there guys it's going to be more foamy and a lot more waves okay so once you once you get an idea of where you want that first piece then you can you're going to do this uh seven more times so in total from right to left we're going to have eight of these okay so now we can put two three four five six seven eight Okay, these are the same size, so they should you should be able to fit these right on top. If they don't, then you have one of them off. Okay, okay. Now on each side, you're gonna look for. They don't make a white piece in that. If you are gonna use the white piece, you gotta go down and. I'm gonna use Suji floor since it only takes the vines, but it's the four by four by one. You're going to put one on that corner. And you're going to put one on this corner, okay? I'm not going to put it down yet because the next step we got to do, I'm actually going to use, even though we're in, uh, we're in sandbox, I still use these guys because that makes it easier, okay? And then you go back into walls. And you can use... If you want to use this one all the way across, you can, but you can get away with using dining wall number three or a combination of three, two, and then the beach, beachy corner from Durberger or uh, Beachside Boulevard. The reason why is because we're actually, you don't want to use these because you ha they have these uh, pieces on the on top like that and they'll get in your way. You won't be able to use them in either direction. So that's why with the uh, dining wall three, two, or the corner, you can get away with that, okay? And the reason why I don't mind using these is because they'll go all the way across. I'll show you. You're going to have to put one of these down first and then nudge it just off just off the edge because then now you should be able to snap right to it. You see that? And now we're able to snap. And now I can nudge it over. Let me uh, bring the, the floor back out. Sometimes you got to move the floor out a little bit more. And then you should be able to snap right to it. 
If not, same thing again. Just put one of these pieces down and then nudge it off just by, by one. And it should let you see how it's letting me snap now. And then just nudge it till it turns green. And then just keep going across. Once you once you do it once, it should let you do it continuously. All well, that time it didn't. It was too far out. There it goes a snap. Snap hasn't been working properly probably for the past couple of uh, updates. It was working really good and... Okay, so that's how you can get away with using that. It's the same shade up top. It's just the, the bottom one. It, bottom, it's not because it's got that beige color on the bottom. This is the only time I'll use it because I don't have to put as many pieces in. Okay. Okay, now we're going to come across. We can actually get rid of this. And now we're going to do this. Actually, we're going to put the corner in. So let's go back into... Furniture, surfaces, and this is Manor Coffee Table Small. That's medium. This is large. There's another reason why I like using these. Two reasons. One, because it's, it's not as high, and you can get away with not having to put as uh, many pieces. Whereas if you were to use, say you wanted to use, like, maybe you wanted this color. See how much higher it is? So you're going to have to compensate for that. See how it's lower? All right, so go back to, to the furniture, surfaces, the small coffee. And you're gonna put that right in the corner, okay? And then now we're gonna go back and grab our eight by four by one, whatever color you're using, guys. You're gonna come out five times. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna put this right up against it. Four. And then five. Okay. And then now we're gonna come across eight times. So again, your eight by four by one, whichever piece you're using. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that should be even with that. Let's go ahead and put our tables in, and then we'll come back to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Eight. Okay. And then now we can get rid of... Well, if I break that, it's a break... Let me break these really quick and I'll come back. All right, I'm back. Now the other one, you're going to want to put the corner piece in over here. So we only have two corner pieces, one here and one here. Those are the smalls. You're going to be using the large for the rest of them, okay? So go back and grab your 8x4x1, by by whichever color you're using. So one, two, three, four, five. So now I know we're, we're lined up perfect. We have a rectangle that we need okay so now you put those down and now this is pretty much it guys now you're going to go back you can fill the rest of this with the uh dining wall a combination of dining wall and probably the beachy corner let's see you might have to put a piece in to snap to it. So again, like we did last time, you put one down and then just come off one. Then it should allow you to snap after that. It did, but it went the other way. Let me come from this direction. There we go. And then just nudge it. Now you're just building your perimeter, guys. So same thing again, every now and then you might have to put one of these down guys. Oh, and then come off of that. This is where it can get difficult because it wants to snap to that other piece. Actually, why don't we just do 
Let's do a corner. Yeah, there it goes. I just put a, a beachy corner in there. And then now let's see if we can get it to go across this way. Nope, it's still being stubborn. Let's see if I can put it. Put one of these out there. Sometimes you have to put these plates down and just stand in the right way to get it to work. All right, so now you're going to do that basically all the way this way and all the way this way, okay? And you saw how it was working. You might have to do this every now and then, guys. Again, even though it's a sandbox that we could fly, uh, Dizzle still utilizes putting these plates down like if I were, was in survival. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this finished. When I come back, I'll have the walls in, and then I'll show you what I did next. All right, guys, I'm back. I have all the perimeter in, and now I'm going to go back and just... The sun's about to set, so... Basically, all I did from here now, guys, is I went into floors, and I used Beachy Thin Floor. And you're going to double that up, so then it's flush with the uh, the counters. This is 16 by 2 by 1. And you're going to have to use a combination of different sizes to uh, get this to, uh, to fit. So that's 8 by 2 by 1. And that's 6 by 2 by 1. Okay, so I think we, think we did 1, 2. Yeah, we did 3 of the 16 by 2 by 1. And then we went back with the 8 by 2 and then the uh, 6 by 2. And again, you want to double those up. I actually go one more time. This is just showing you it's up entirely up to you. If you want to keep it flush, okay? The way Dizzle has it, as I have it raised one more to give it just a little bit of that decorative uh, edge going all the way around. Okay? So you're basically going to do that all the way around, guys. The combination of different sizes. Again, using these right here. 6 by 2, 8 by 2, 12 by 2, and 16, 16 by 2. Most of them will be 16 by 2. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get this all lined up. And we come back. Fresh daylight. We'll continue. We're almost done, guys. So I'm just going to show you how you can raise this. And, and then the reason why I use the steps here, because it hides that grade a little bit. And then we'll make our floor at some point. Again, that'll be entirely up to you as far as where, where you want to do it. All right? We'll be back with fresh daylight. All right, guys, this is what it looks like uh, with the wraparound on, on the uh, on the inside of the uh, pool with the white pieces. Again, that was a combination of, and actually it was mostly, if you are doing this and struggling, most of the pieces are using the uh, 16 by 2 by 1, okay? And I think I went to this one once. I think that's it. I think it actually was just these two going all the way around. All right, so the next step, guys, uh, again, this is going to depend on the slope. And where you choose to start uh, this piece right here, the, the deck part of the build, okay? Because now we can do the step down, all right? And that's how we hide the uh, the grade a little bit. Uh, but again, it's entirely up to you. If you wanted to go, it really depends. If you're, your feet aren't touching the ground, they're not touching. Yeah, they're not touching here. So you can pretty much put the floor just below the feet and go all the way across if you don't want the steps. And, and your pool's done that way. But if you like the step down that I did, uh, all I did was I went one lower each time. You can kind of see the green. It's kind of hard with the sun shining through. There we go. We come this way. It's just one level lower from that last piece that we that you put down. And then you just come all the way across. You do this. So a total of three times. And then it's going to be this piece, uh, 12 by 2 by 1. So that first piece was the 16 by 2 by 1. We put three of those. And now we're going to finish it with the 12 by 2 by 1. And it should fit right across, okay? Now, the wall that we put in the back, guys, again, if you, before you want to do the steps, it's up to you because it's going to be hidden anyways. Well, actually, it may or may not. It depends what you're going to do with your build. But uh, I took mine out because then I brought the wall forward. And then the rest of my build, it didn't matter anyways because it wasn't showing. But you, again, it's up to you if you want to leave it in. Um, if your build gets bigger, it's just Dizzle took his out because it ended up going back forward anyways. It just helps save uh, some space for uh, high complexity in the future. That's all. All right. Uh, I'm going to put just a piece down here so we can build 
And even though it's a sandbox, I didn't like doing this pool while while uh, floating in the air. So I'm gonna put a piece out that we can stand on. Okay. Then again, you come back with your 16 by two by one. I'll do this one more time. Again, guys, how many steps you go, I'm gonna leave that up to you because it, it's gonna vary. Uh, again, on your slope of the of the land where you're building this, and then also on the level of the water. Okay, is that actually in the water? Mm, not yet. Actually, it is right there. I'll do it one more time for this tutorial, and then I'll start the uh, the wall underneath it. Again, you just get it lined up right underneath that last piece. Your snap is working well. You can just go all the way across. See how fast we did that. Okay. So I'm going to let you go ahead and finish that up. If uh, you're ready to go, then we're going to do the wall underneath. All right? All right, guys. Let's get started with the wall underneath. Sometimes it goes right away. You, you may need to put... Is it going to rain? Oh, it is. Let's wait for uh, fresh daylight, guys. All right, guys, the sun's coming up again. Get some fresh daylight really quick. I ended up putting one more row. Uh, another way of knowing whether where you want to put your floor or not is kind of just float in the water and watch yourself, uh, your your Lego character, Bob. I don't, you might not be able to pick it up in the video, but you can see where my feet would be dangling just, just below the line there of the wall that we put in. So that's another reason why I went one more. All right, let's put the wall in across now. So let's go in and grab dining wall. We may or may not. Let's see if it'll... Oh, it did not. So this is the part that... You might have to come and grab beachy corner. And you're going to want to get it to where it's flush and it's even with the uh, that piece, the, the step, the last step you put in. I don't know if you could see it from here. See how it's not below. It's right, right at the same level. Okay? And then you should be able to snap your wall right to that. There you go, see? And then you just nudge it over. Actually, I'm sorry, we're gonna go underneath that one though. We'll do it again, nudge it under, and then to the right. Now we should be able to just snap all the way across. Again, this is why I use the uh, the floor. Again, I know you could float, but okay. You do one more. You're just gonna go all the way across. All right. So go ahead and do that, and then I'll meet you back when you're done. All right, we're back. The last piece might be a, a dining wall number two. Should go all be able to go all the way across, and the last piece will probably be a two. Okay. So now we're just ready for the floor. Again, you could use whatever floor you want. Bust those all up. Let's see, where's a good uh, spot to do this from? I'm gonna go ahead and grab. I went with the uh, beachy wide. And I'm just going to test it. I'm going to go all the way across. I'm going to come over here. Actually, this part looks like it's the highest. So I'm going to do it from this side. You see how the slope goes from left and it goes down a little bit? So I'd rather do my floor from this side then. Okay. So now we're at the point where we can put it down. And let me just snap all the way across, guys. You can't use that piece, and you have to go back in and find out what pieces you need. Uh, I believe it's going to be this one. 12 by 12 by 1. There we go. And then beachy floor, eight by four by one. We should be able to go all the way across. Yeah. OK. 
Okay, all the way across, and you can see our feet aren't touching. We're able to swim. And then you just come out right here, okay? So again, the steps are gonna vary depending on the, the slope, and then uh, how deep it is, again, will depend on the slope too, okay? Now, as far as the, the Dizzle continued the deck back this way, one, one more layer, but higher, as well as I went this way towards the bar. Uh, you may or may not need a supporting piece like we put in the beginning. Uh, let's see. We're still in floor. I can show you. You may need this piece still, again, the 8x4x1. By by again, it doesn't matter what color because it's going to get covered. Uh, but if, it, if not, you can always try it first. Go and grab... Uh, uh, Majestic Manor uh, Table Large, Coffee Table Large. And there you go. You can see how it's just one one up, okay? So you, we don't, as of right now, we don't have to. And again, this doesn't necessarily mean you have to put yours here either. Once your pool's done, so you can see right here, we have to put a piece now. It needs a supporting piece. It's no longer grabbing from, it won't connect to that existing table. It needs the piece underneath. In order to fix that, you're going to have to put one of these down. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to say right there. It's got to go one higher. And you might have to mess with this a little bit. Just lay it right on top. There you go. And then move it out. That should be it. Yeah. Okay. And then now you should be able to just snap all the way across. And do like how you did the very first part of this, guys. Okay? And then this would go all the way across. Okay? So that's how you do a step up. So you can do that either either way. And then out here, as far as finishing water side, I just went with the... Uh, this will snap because this is a, a supporting piece for this one. Let me go over here. I might have to come out. Let me build a flooring. There we go. And this is how I did my trim. All the way around. Well, not all the way around. Again, it's going to depend on... Uh, what you design, how you design it out, guys. Where are you going to put the expansion of the, uh, the deck? Or coffee tables, however you want to call it, guys. I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. Get this last piece in. There we go. See, and that's how you do your trim. Okay. And then you can go one more underneath. One more underneath would uh, start to cover... You just come under. There you go. Kind of hard to see with the water reflection. Let's see if I can snap from that one. Not that one. This one. There you go. Get one in. And then now you can just go back all the way across. With the longer piece. Just snap to it. Let me. There we go. And that's how you hide it underneath, okay? That's how I did it. And there you go, guys. That's pretty much how I built my pool, and I showed you how you can take it a step up, okay? And if you wanted to keep going, again, you would just, you have to be sure, guys, you have a supporting piece for these tables, okay? You can just, if you want to keep going that same height, then you can just snap these across like that. And then this should fit right next to that. Got a supporting piece underneath. And now you're expanding the deck this way. Again, it's a matter which way you want to do it. Depends on your build. You do it this way. You can do it that way. I showed you how to do the trim. All right. And that's how pretty much Dizzle made his pool. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, guys, please put them in the comments and I will answer your questions. All right. Dizzle will catch you on the next one.